Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Chemistry Aspirant. Now in today's lecture, we are going to know about the types of molecular orbital after the overlapping of the atomic orbital during the formation of molecule. Generally, we observe that the molecular orbitals in the molecules are of three types which is known as an first type as an sigma molecular orbital, second as an pi molecular orbital and third as an delta molecular orbitals. So, these are the three types of the molecular orbital we observed in the molecule. So, now let us know about the first type of the molecular orbital which is the sigma molecular orbital. When the two atomic orbitals of a two combining atom overlaps along the internuclear axis which is called as an head to head overlap or the axial overlapping from this sigma molecular orbital. We know that these sigma molecular orbitals are cylindrically symmetrical along this internuclear axis. Generally, in this sigma molecular orbital, we observe the greater overlapping in these molecular orbitals. So, here I have shown this simple cylindrical overlapping between the atomic orbitals which form this sigma molecular orbitals. The second molecular orbital which is the pi molecular orbital. When the two atomic orbital overlap sidewise or laterally or parallelly then they form this pi molecular orbital. So, in this pi molecular orbitals the internuclear axis lying in a nodal plane that I have shown here. Generally, these pi molecular orbitals are observed in the p atomic orbital. So, this is about the second type of your molecular orbital which is your pi molecular orbital. Now, let us know about the next that is your third type of molecular orbital which is generally known as an delta molecular orbital. So, here you must remember that generally the delta molecular orbitals are formed in the d atomic orbitals. As we know that d atomic orbital contains the phi lobe which we generally represent as an dxy, dy, z and dxz, dx square minus y square and dz square. Okay. So, here except your dz square all other d atomic orbital shows the delta molecular orbitals. So, now let us consider the overlapping of a 2 d x square minus y square d atomic orbital of a 2 atom. Generally, they form this delta bond in which the all four lobes of this d x square minus y square atomic orbital overlap with and one. They are mutually perpendicular to each other which leads to the formation of your delta molecular orbital. So, here generally this delta z square atomic orbital shows molecular orbitals. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you like this video. See you in my next video.